what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hi everyone, I'm Kieran the Barber. Today we're going to be doing a skin fade with a texturized top, putting in a hard part in there. I'm going to be demonstrating that with a lot of sort of my scissor work on top with my new shark fin shears. Um, I'm going to be using my Andis US Pros, my fades, and also sort of my razor and stuff like that, and my foil shavers. We'll go through a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to show you the way I do it. It's mainly about cutting the skin fade in, getting it perfect, fading it all the way up. Um, and then the styling of the messy texturize afterwards. So we'll go through all that. I hope you enjoy my video. Right, hi everyone, welcome to my demo today on a skin fade with a messy texturized top um, and a hard part. We're going to go proper down to the skin today on this. And as um, Sandra has got nice thick hair, we can get a real good shape on the old outlines and stuff like that. So, just wetting down the top just to get it all out of the way to start. I'm going to come straight in with my. If you could just focus on that. I come straight in with my Slimline Pros. They are, oh no, what are they called? Hang, I think I did with this, it's all right. I'm gonna come straight in with my Slimline Pros, Ions. They're amazing, they're the best mini clipper on the market. Um, I've had a few people come back and sort of say that they're, um, they're absolutely awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm not going to come from here today because I want to get a nice sharp outline on Sandro's hair. I want to be able to see most of this coming down here and most of this round here. So I'm going to show you a way that I've only just learned as well to be fair. I'm learning stuff every day. I'm going to come from here and I'm going to curve it round and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not come straight, I'm going to curve it round and down and we're going to tape like a sort of burst tape around there. So. I'm going to come straight in just to get all my lining work before I do the skin fade. I'm literally just going to, as you can see, even though these are cordless mini clippers, just to prove a point to you guys, his hair is extremely thick. It's, it's sort of that sort of Latin, Spanishy type like hair, it's nice and thick, but it's still getting through it. Not clogging up the machine at all. The machine is a monster.
Um, now I'm going to use the Andis T outliners um, and I've detached the head and I've stuck on a foil head. Nice and easy, easiest thing in the world. Um, the foil head attachment will get this down to literally nothing now before we start the blending. So I'm going to do that now. If you stretch the last skin, no way you're going. So now I've got my Andis fades with the flat surgical blade. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fade this up and out with a 0.5. So I'll stick it up to the 0.5 and I'll literally just come up. Clip over comb work. As you can see, I'm not doing C motion, I'm sort of rubbing against the head just. Flicking out just slightly. Because it's a flat head, you can't go in as, because it's not got a curve on it, it won't rock. It's dead straight, so it's just going to go into the client's head. So you have to go in straight and come out, not flick. Or not curve, sorry. an awful lot it's good to have one of these annie brushes They're absolutely awesome because you've got the real rough side for when you're doing sort of afro-caribbean hair and stuff like that where you can properly get the hair off or the softer brush you just say sandra when you're doing skin and what it does it just cleans the area so you've got one side for that and you can obviously clean your clippers on the other side You can go again and just slowly, slowly, catchy monkey getting that fade out. I got taught by Dave Diggs. Um, I watched this Fade 101 DVD, it's an awesome DVD. Um, he only uses the three, three corners that side and the three corners this side. So, what he calls it, he calls it bottom right, bottom left top left, top right, and what he does is you get them three bits and you literally stroke that fade out like that, scratch it. I think it's what, to be honest, I think it's what a lot of the Americans do, us British. We don't seem to do it a lot over here, that's never ever ever how I was taught. I haven't re I haven't seen it done over here, personally, with any of the videos that the English guys do or anything like that. Um, so I've just been picking up techniques from, from other barbers all around the world. It's good, it's good to widen your knowledge, try different things, not to sort of stay in the same boat every day. Get out there and learn something. And I've learned this and it's made my fake game a lot better. And obviously, 
with the Andis fades to other surgical um, flat blade clippers. Um, they have a, an adjustment lever on them, so you can go from a zero to a half, um, which is which is brilliant because there's some other clippers out there that don't have that. They literally have a straight flat head for um, bold fades and stuff like that, but then you have to go back to your other clippers to do sort of the fading part, which I, I never really understood. You should always have a, an adjustment lever on the side. Right, so now I come to this curve part here, where it curves sort of down and around. As I say, I want to get that slight bit here, where I shape that up and shape it in, so you can clearly see the boof, boof, where it sort of comes at that corner and comes down slightly, and it will look really, really sharp. So again, I'm gonna do exactly what I've done on the back, I'm actually just gonna take off the bulk. Go back to like a quarter, use my bottom right. And come back around with the bottom left. And as you can see, I can't see on the camera obviously when, only when I go back over it. I've, well, obviously once I've clip over comb that slightly, but you can see already how that edge, when that's gonna raise or fade out, it's gonna raise around there, raise around there, and it's gonna look so sharp, it's really gonna stand out. Right guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of um, scissor over comb because I'm okay with scissors. So I'm gonna go lift Sandra's head back. I've got my new shark fin shears by the way, and they are absolutely awesome. They just glide through your hair. I haven't done really a lot of scissor over comb on any of my videos, so I'm just going to show everyone that I can do scissor over comb and show you that using a clipper comb with my scissor over comb as well works a treat. I'm not one for small combs, I've just bought one of them. I think they're called a Neo comb. I paid, I think it was some 20 odd pound for a couple, but it's, it's not me. First, personally, it's not me. I don't know, I've only had it a couple of days, so maybe it takes time to get used to or whatever, but it's um, not for me at the minute. Right, so on Sandro's hair on the top to make it sort of messy, texturized, I'm gonna cut about half half an inch off the front and I'll probably get, I want a sort of 30 degree angle on the haircut so the fringe should be longer than the back, just to give it more definition and texture right at this front bit. So with my sharp thin shears, I'm gonna just take off about that. I'm gonna club cut it all first. As you can see how sharp these scissors are, I am swear to god, I'm so nervous about the first cut I have with these, because it's gonna be a killer. I'm gonna take off a knuckle or something, I know I am. 
And then as I get back, the further I go back, I'm just literally gonna get a little bit shorter, just as I get to the crown. Same on this side, a little bit shorter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna texturize it all, just real chip into it. So now brush it all forward again, like I've not even cut it. Bring it all the way back onto that fringe. And then I'll literally just chip into the fringe. Well, chip into the whole hair, sorry. Just to give it that messy texture, right? Right, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shaping up all this front bit coming around each side slightly, same on this side, and then after that I'm going to stick in the hard line, and then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to raise it all around just so it's nice and sharp. So I'm using my, again I'm using my Andis wireless Prolifium clippers, the Slim Pro line, Slim Line Pro, sorry. Relax, relax your head, perfect. And as you can see, even though I'm sort of going around these edges and it is nice and sharp and there is no hair on them whatsoever, in the same sentence, it's not leaving the skin red, rashy, cutting the skin, anything like that. These are real delicate on the skin. These are real nice and smooth. They're my favorite mini trimmer by far, by absolute far. These are my favorite mini trimmer. Just because they're light, they're soft. They don't hurt the customer. You can use them on adult kids, shape ups, afro hair, anything. And they're, they're brilliant. They're well made. Okay, so now the hard line, just make sure you always obviously separate hair so you get a, a natural line before you part it. Make sure all the hair is... Obviously Sandra's been having a hard line for a long time so it naturally sort of falls into that place. And then I'm just going to come nice and slowly and just put it all the way through right to the back.
So now I'm just going to raise her in this hard part. Nice and slowly. You definitely don't want to slip on this part of the head. Now coming from straight from razor in the hard line, I'm just going to raise around these edges, so make the skin slightly taut. Just come down ever so slightly on that. And then what I would do is I would grab the face. And literally come around on the edges. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Baldi's hard as is literally a real dry sort of matte paste and it's quite firm um, and it's hard obviously. I use a blob of it on my finger, so just the top of the finger. I just rub it all into my fingers. I was going to use powder but um, Stacy's either used it or snored it all. I don't have a clue where it is. Um, so you know what, it doesn't matter. Products are products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my fingers for all of this to give it texture. I'll use it a tiny bit more. from that side where the hard part is. So as you can see I've taken that fade from here. You see come up slightly, come down. And then around there. And that is my sort of low skin fade with a curved edge. Shaped up, hard part. Cut a real load of texture into that top. Styled with Baldi's hard as muck and it's literally Simple as that. Guys, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate every single one of you. My videos have now hit like 1.5 million views my subscriptions have gone like 20k i honestly i don't know how um but i just want to say an absolute thank you to every single one of you that watches my videos um and absolutely puts up my crap and bullshit um and i really do hope you do enjoy them and i hope you do learn something from them that is my main goal for me to go this is how i do it and i hope this is what you can take a little bit on board um, and you can learn, even if this is the tiniest bit ever, I just really hope you do enjoy my videos. And I just want to, again, say thank you to every single one of you. Um, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Thank you very much.